Hey guys, I'm making this video today, and I'm actually making it to talk to two people. Uh, Travis, uh, we talked about this, and you, I was going to send this to you, because I wanted to express some of what we'd achieved through our coaching and some of our talks. And Simon, um, actually, I've never met you, never spoke to you, uh, sent a couple things back and forth on Twitter, thanking you for some things, and expressing my appreciation for some of your videos. And I'm sending this to you because I want to express to you the amount that you actually contributed to my goal planning, my business planning, my life planning actually for 2012. And I wanted to thank both you, Travis, for the direct contributions you've made, and you, Simon, actually for the fact that had I not stumbled upon your talk on TED, had I not taken that and shared it with everybody, and that in order, that actually made me think about the concept more. Instead of just listening to it, I tried to grasp what you're saying, and then I took and I shared it in some of the the things that we've done here in our office with other people, that deepened my appreciation for the Golden Circle. And then when me and Travis started talking about our year long, you know, my year long business goals, my business planning, it turned everything around and made it so much more productive. And we got so much further. And what I actually wanted to express here was that the two of you, Travis, you directly, and Simon, you indirectly, collaborated together with the ideas that you guys put out into the universe, with the ideas that you guys share with everybody. And it's directly impacted and helped me in ways that neither one of you, I'm afraid, will ever be able to fully appreciate the amount of impact that you've had on me. And I, you know, so I'm sending this partially to thank you. Um, and also to point out that you never know, ideas from so far apart, from two people, and I'm not sure Travis and Simon, if you guys have actually even ever met. I know I've spoken with, with you, Travis, before about Simon's work, and we expressed a mutual appreciation for what he does and what he says. So Simon, I'm not sure if you've ever either met either one of us. I know you haven't met me. Um, I think, you know, maybe there's a chance you could have met Travis. But I just want to put this together today to show you the influence you've had on me, how you've inspired me. And how, the, in fact, that has led to the two of you collaborating to, to help set the tone for my year and my business. Um, at the beginning of this year, we set a goal of achieving 100 transactions in one year. With a relatively small team in a relatively small city of about 160,000 people. At any given time, there's only you know, 4,000 to 6,000 homes for sale in the MLS, our, our local MLS. And we decided that we were going to sell 100 homes this year. That 100 puts us in an elite group, uh, regardless of the size of the city. Someone that's able to maintain the pace and do the year to achieve 100 transactions in a year has really gotten to a, reached a certain level of achievement in real estate. And when I started talking about this, I really was sort of sitting, putting that at the center of the circle. Of the why. Why was I in business this year? You know, why? Well, I was in business to do 100 transactions. But Travis pointed out, because he knew how much I appreciated uh, your work, Simon, that, well, let's go back and let's take the, the approach of the Golden Circle. And he kept saying, "Is why, you know, 100 transactions, that's awesome. That's a great goal. But why is 100 so important? What's behind that number? Because there's obviously something there that means something to you. You know, the 100 transactions, what does that mean? Is it that your idol in real estate did 100 transactions? Is it, why is that so important? And I got to really thinking about that. We kept having this discussion, and I kept trying to push that back in the circle. And Travis kept pushing it back out because he wanted me to expand. And what we discovered, it actually became the what. What do I want to do this year? Well, I want to sell 100 homes. That distinction from pushing it from here out to here was so important. Because then that helped us to figure out, we can figure out the how, because guess what? Other people have sold 100 homes in a year. And in fact, we've met with enough people, learned enough things, have the experience that we can figure out the how based on our experience learning from others. But what's important is it's easy to figure out the how on a lot of things for whatever the what is. But if you don't have the why as your foundation, you'll lose steam because 100 transactions is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's going to take energy throughout the year. We've got to have a big enough why that it pushes through that how and out to the what. And Travis helped me do that because he knew I appreciated your work so much, Simon. And what we discovered was the 100. What was important to me? Why? Because that was a level. That was challenging myself to such a degree to believe that I could be the best in a given field and not allowing myself to cut short and just be good. It was pushing myself to be great. 
Because when we achieve 100 transactions, that'll be great. That won't just be good. We won't just be a good real estate team. We'll actually be a great real estate team. So the 100 was to set that goal at such a level that we'd really arrived at something great. And to, to believe in myself enough to not shortcut myself, to not, to not cut myself short, to not set myself up for mediocrity, to actually push myself and grow and force growth. And having this goal, had, had I not had the golden circle and discovered that it really belonged out here at the what? If I had sold 60 homes and, and did better than I did this year, that, that would have felt good. And that would have been not enough necessarily, but maybe it would have been. And it would have just been a goal, another goal that I set to fail high and to push myself. But once I figured out that it belonged out here, it took the importance so much off of the 100 and set it back on what actually mattered, the why of achieving something great, doing something great with 2012 in our business. Doing something just beyond good, focusing on the great, and putting that out there and sharing that with people. And what's funny is it, it is just putting it back in the circle and putting it in context of what the 100 actually was, that it belonged out here on the what, made the concept, the idea, the goal, so much easier to share with others. And now we have people that want to collaborate with us and help us and that are, that are giving us inspiration, that are helping us focus. We have people that have lined up to give us help along our journey to this goal of 100 transactions. Our local coaches here in the real estate office, you know, is helping us with things. You know, our whole team. We've reached out and so many people have expressed as a desire to help us reach our what. And the reason that they've been willing to do that is because I was so able to explain the why. Why do we want to do this? That they could see the passion behind it. They could see why it mattered. And so now we have people that are willing to help us with the how. And determining the how has become so much easier because I figured out where things belonged in terms of this circle. And that was a breakthrough moment for us and for me that I cannot put into words what it meant and what it's done, not only just inside of me, but inside of the team and inside of those people that we come in contact with that really want to help my team reach our goal, reach our what. So the how now almost seems like a foregone conclusion. We have people, we have the resources to establish the how, to get to our what, and it's because we established our why. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to reach out to you guys, both you, Travis, you know because I get to speak to you, I get to talk to you, what it's meant to work with you, you know, through December and January, what the last year getting to know each other. And Simon... I wanted to give you credit some. I wanted to reach out to you. It wasn't enough to just send a message, send an email to you. I really wanted to communicate with you. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll be able to share this with somebody to see how big this has meant to one little guy here in Chattanooga. And what I really know, not believe, but I, what I know. You know, I talked to Travis about this. And doing this exercise, moving this back to the wine, it took me from hope. Because originally I was hoping that we could do 100 transactions. Following this golden circle was that what actually took me from hoping we could do it to believing we could do it. And then actually from hope to belief to knowing we could do 100 transactions this year. And that right there is magical and powerful. And I can't thank you enough. So Travis, thank you so much for what we've done with each other. I appreciate every moment that we've spent together. And Simon, thank you for sharing, for so freely sharing your ideas in this golden circle. And I like, again, I send this out with, you know, from the deepest place in my heart of gratitude, thanking you both for helping establish our journey this year. Thank you guys.